Hello everyone, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold. I have brass stencils that created this beauty. The fine detail in this uh, metal embossing thing. I am going to try to use this Versamark pen and I'm going to use the smaller tip and I'm going to use some masking tape to hold this down as I'm working on it All right, now I'm just going to follow inside the detail. Oh, goodness sakes, my hand is shaking. <laughs> Try to make sure that I've got all that little areas filled in so I don't have any holes. Now I'm going to carefully lift this off and you see the for some mark. All right, I'm going to make this metallic blue. This is a zing that I got from Hobby Lobby. And who is it made by? American Crafts. So, I don't know, you might be able to get it online. And there it is. I have some excess over here from where the tape was. I'm going to get that off. And down here. Okay, now I'm going to heat this. That turned out pretty good. Now let it cool before you put the, the stencil back on. And while it's cooling, take a hand wipe and clean off the areas that you just used to get any um, stray Versamark off. All right, I think that's probably cool. Now, I'm going to put this back on. And tape it down. This time I can tape it up here. I, you know, whatever. And I've got to be on the edge on this one. I'm out of frame. Okay. I just put that one up there because it's already embossed and I'm not going to be working there. Oh, wrong end. Okay, so just, just like before.
Now I'm going to take this off carefully. And there is the bottom of the butterfly. All right, now I'm going to do this one, the other metallic zing, which is green. get this off all right now, now I'm going to heat set this one while I clean this this stencil and then the last part is going to be the body and the antennas And so there's the body and the antennas, and I'm going to make them black. And I'm using some Ranger Super Fine Detail Black, and this is old stuff, and it has UFOs in it, unidentified foreign objects. Now some of the black has gone on the wings and I don't want that on there. <coughs> so I need to use the brush carefully and sweep this away without touching the body. Uh, yeah that has not been heat embossed yet. Okay. So now I'm going to heat set this. And there you have a beautiful butterfly. You might be wondering why I'm not using the Versamark ink pad. Well, I'll show you why. So look at the two together. <coughs> this one is a mess, while this one is beautifully defined. 
So I would advise that you use or or get a Versamark pen. I uh, thought I'd be smart and put this on and use some glycerin and a Q-tip and put it inside there and do all the different colors and then and then heat emboss this. Well it stuck and I had to peel it up and it tore. It really made a mess. So <clears throat> I had to put this in alcohol overnight to get all of the heat embossing stuff in the paper that was stuck on the back off. And there's a nice little element for a, a page. And brass stencils are anywhere from uh, 250 to, depending on how intri intricate they are, they can be as expensive as 6 or $7. Uh, but these are very versatile. So with my masking tape, that I've butchered. I'm going to tape this stencil down to a piece of paper. I'm going to use Versamark and a makeup sponge and I'm just going to tap the sponge into the Versamark and I'm going to go in a circular motion inside this stencil design. All right, now I'm carefully going to peel up the masking tape. Then I'm carefully going to lift the stencil and set it aside. And then there is the Versa mark. And I have some areas down here where, or around the edge, where I got a little carried away with and ran off. But that won't be a problem. I can. I can cut this within there. All right, so now I'm going to put heat embossing powder on and I'm going to use some opaque red just for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to put the opaque red all over this entire thing. And there's the embossing powder that's on. And there is the heat embossed hearts from the stencil. Red embossing powder from Zing on a piece of red cardstock. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're going, I'm going to continue on with this heat embossing for another week or two. 
So join us and you'll get to see the new videos as they come. So until next time, this is Leslie from Message in a Fold saying, now you go show someone how special they are. Bye!